So have I walked in? Oh, okay. Okay, let's do that. Okay. So. Story time. It's story time with Africa's number one life coach. My name is Makosi. So I went to do my makeup today again at the house of Tara. Hi, Tara. Why I keep talking about Tara, some of you are going to ask, um, because of what happened in Nigeria a couple of, um, a month ago, uh, people broke into her store, broke things down. But why I picked up her story so much is her resilience. And the irony of things is she started off the year with the word resilient, and she's just as resilient as she tells people on Instagram. So. Um, to my ladies out there, if you wear makeup, you can I actually also buy her products online. I think it's tara.com. But if you go to House of Tara, House of Tara International or something, you will find the link of where you can um, buy the makeup, which leads into my very next story. So I walk into the House of Tara to have my makeup done, and another lady walks in, and I was like, "Oh, are you here to do your makeup?" She's like, "No, I'm not doing my makeup. I'm learning how to do makeup." And I'm like. Oh my God, yeah, because makeup artists can be really expensive. Trust me to make everything about money. I'm like, yeah, makeup artists can be really expensive. And then she's like, no, it's not that they're expensive. I just want to learn for myself. Anyway, fast forward and probably 20, 30 minutes into me still sitting there having my makeup done. She lets me know that over the lockdown period, she's stuck in Nigeria. Over the lockdown period, she's learned how to bake. She's learned how to make drinks. I've even ordered some pies that she makes. She's learned how to make drinks, and now she's learning how to make makeup. It takes us right into the topic that we're talking about today, boredom, because that would be one of the words you would have heard over and over again as lockdown began. So what? how do we use boredom to effect change? Number one. Tackle your to-do list. Everybody has one, whether it's written down or it's in your head. Go to the gym, clean the house, wash the car, feed the dogs, tackle your to-do list. Number two, like the lady I met, met in the makeup house, um, cook something. I can confess that I don't like cooking. I don't, if you walk into my kitchen, it doesn't even look like a kitchen. You probably think it's a studio or maybe you think it's a laundry room. I don't know. I don't know what you'll think about my kitchen. I'll introduce my kitchen to you one day. Um, but I found that during the lockdown, I'll just go on YouTube, find a recipe, go to the kitchen and learn how to cook. I must say, I didn't learn how to make banana bread like Meghan Markle, but that's next on my hit list. Outside cooking, learn a new skill, like makeup, this lady went to learn how to make, uh, do makeup, or do something extraordinary. Some of us will skydive, some of us will bungee jump, but something extraordinary according to you. And number three, connect with someone from the past. And no, I don't mean your toxic ex. I mean a high school friend. The worst that could happen is you have nothing in common anymore. You don't have to call them back. They don't have to call you. But we know that relationships have a way of injecting activity, energy into our lives. So find someone in the past that you have not spoken to in a very long time and connect with them. Number four, this goes to me before it goes to you. Delete the stuff in your phone that you actually don't need there. My director comes over to me for a meeting and he's trying to send a file to my phone so that I can upload the file to YouTube. But my phone of how many, Sam? Uh, like uh, how many, uh, what's my storage? Okay, so my phone of 256 gig had no space. If I had taken some of that boredom time to delete stuff that I don't actually need on my phone, I wouldn't have wasted 20, 30 minutes of my director's time for him to send a file to my phone. And then number five, create a plan for your life. Businesses have plans and you are your first business. Why would you not have a plan for your life? 2021 is around the corner. What exciting things are you gonna do in 2021? Where do you see yourself in two years? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Create a plan for your life. So before I give you a bonus, subscribe, 
like, comment, and share this page because sharing is caring. And as I said in a post, sometimes we wait for Wednesday to put Woman Crush Wednesday. If I am your Woman Crush Wednesday, it's not enough for you to just put my picture up your wall. If, you have, if you're one of those people who always write to me saying, Makosi, you inspire me, the best thing you can do for me is subscribe to this channel and share the content. Bonus point, look around you and see what you're grateful for. Pull out your gratitude journal. If you do not have one, get one and start writing the things you are grateful for. Two things are gonna happen. It's going to lift up your spirits and number two, it's going to make you realize how privileged you are. Until next time, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and stop being bored so you can be a hundred percent boss. <laughs>